So tomorrow a new RPG game will be releasing on Roblox and this is a game I actually think personally is really good and I actually think it's probably the best RPG game on Roblox. And this is a game called Voxel Blade. You might have heard of Voxel Blade before because it was actually a game that was out but then got revamped into this new game which you might call Voxel Blade 2 or Voxel Blade Revamp but it's essentially a much better and more refined version of the original Voxel Blade. I personally played the original a few years ago and honestly I like the game but this new one looks a lot better. But what you might be thinking is why am I so confident in saying this new version of Voxel Blade is actually a good game because any game can look good in sneaks but the truth is Voxel Blade doesn't even post a lot of sneaks but what they did do is do a two day stress test I believe two months ago and it actually looked really good. Unfortunately I didn't play the stress test much myself because progress wasn't saving at the time because it's a stress test and also I was really busy at the time but from what I did play in the footage I watched the game actually looked really good and just looking at people's reactions you can even tell how much people actually like the game there wasn't so many people telling them don't even close the game leave it like this and then update it later because it actually closed down and now it's an even better version of that game that people already love so much during the stress test but what makes voxel blade so good so basically voxel blade is your somewhat normal rpg game before you spawn in you pick a race and these races aren't like pay to win spin systems they do cost money but they're 50 robux each race and it's pretty much nothing compared to what these other games be charging but then you pick a small medium or heavy weapon and from there you build your sword it's like your class so you have a million different pathways you can bring it in and it leads you to a million different builds and that's what gives voxel blade so much life and so much things to do is you can make literally a trillion different builds in this game it's crazy but the blade isn't the only thing you could customize in voxel blade you could also customize the handle which gives a million different effects and obviously there's a million different blades and handles and then you have your race and you can also get separate blades and handles through you know bosses and different sort of uh progression lines which reminds me of a very big difference that they added into this new voxel blade which is there's a main progression line now i'm not the voxel blade expert here so i could be wrong on some of the details but i believe how the progression works now is you don't actually have to follow the main progression line but it does exist where you can now still go and do whatever you want and it's open world and you don't have to follow it like word for word bar for bar but it does give you an option to kind of stay in a more structured gameplay i guess but i feel like this actually makes a big difference for how the game's gonna perform because a lot of new players are gonna have a much easier time because it kind of kind of walks you through a bit better at least that's my understanding compared to before before, it was a lot more like you kind of just had to figure out yourself and a lot of players don't like that especially younger players and it's why games like block streets are so dominant on roblox because they're simple to understand which means players naturally especially younger players naturally will enjoy the game more because they know what to do but now i want to look at the release date message where he basically listed all the changes that have been made since the stress test which is crazy because people already like the game so much during the stress test so i feel like it's another like solid update since then you got your more basic changes here which are like bug fixes and ui improvements which are still good changes for the health of the game but you also got some cool stuff like universal rolling which is something a lot of people have been asking for which basically before you had to bind a skill to roll and you know go and get the skill compared to now it's universal so everybody has it we're also getting a dungeons update which is something to make dungeons feel a lot more unique and different every time which is really smart because this is gonna add even more replayability to already replayable content in dungeons they're doing this by adding daily challenges and difficulty settings which is basically a way to just make players have different things to do within the dungeons and also make the dungeons not feel the same every time which is something a lot of games do for example like grand piece dungeons are literally the exact same thing every time you just afk there and click one button we're also getting a small easter event which i imagine is going to be on release obviously since easter will be over by the time the update's actually out or the game is actually out not the update but to me the most exciting thing here is the new boss and event it's a flying whale boss and reminds me of that episode of ReZero with the flying whale if y'all know what i'm talking about but either way that looks like it's gonna be fun as hell to fight i'm not gonna lie but i want to keep this video short i just want to let y'all know what y'all gotta look forward to tomorrow i'm also tired as hell i have not slept i'm running on one hour of sleep and that's why i'm been tired in this video i don't know if y'all could tell but if y'all enjoy my content i appreciate if y'all subscribe i thank y'all love y'all i'm gonna go to sleep now later